Whenever someone talks about using Linux as their daily driver, they often get laughed at because in the wild, Linux is often considered inferior to its proprietary counterparts. And in some way there is a certain truth in that. There are a lot of programs that, despite being the industry standard, are not yet compatible on Linux. Another thing that turns people off right away is the choice of a Linux distribution, as well as a suiting graphical user interface called the desktop environment and with that the change in how they operate their PC. Many fail to adapt to Linux due to impatience or the lack of accepting the fact that Linux is not Windows. And that's not a bad thing, since even with all of the problems mentioned, there are a lot of things that Linux does better than Windows. So fasten your seatbelt, because in today's video I'm going to give you a taste on why I use Linux instead of Windows. But before we get into it, let me quickly remind you that you don't forget to give this video a like and if you're here at least a second time already, then you should also consider subscribing to the channel. I appreciate your support. Have you ever wondered what's running the internet as it is? Most server systems run on Linux because of its incredible stability in contrast to Windows. Every one of you probably knows and might have already experienced at least one blue screen of death. Windows is a big operating system with lots of features, pre-installed applications and yes, even ads, which makes even more lightweight versions more likely to fail at some point. Linux on the other hand is not only more lightweight in terms of running services by default, its open source nature also allows for way more people to constantly optimize and remove bad code so to speak. While there are Linux distributions that are considered more or less stable, in comparison to Windows even the more unstable ones can beat it. Another thing that Linux does way better than Windows are updates. Windows updates have become a real meme over the past couple of years, since not only does Microsoft force them onto your PC, they also always seem to be released at the worst possible time. Depending on the update, an installation might take a few seconds but can also last several minutes to complete, which is kind of annoying, especially when you're in a hurry. Linux doesn't do that and lets you decide if you want to install an update. And even if you do, in comparison to Windows, updates are usually a lot smaller, process faster and doesn't install random apps that you didn't ask for. And Linux doesn't install or even downgrade a driver while you're using that device. Have you ever installed a printer on Windows and had to download some weird proprietary software and a special driver? Especially on older devices, if a generic one doesn't cut it, then you're often bound to get a new printer if there is no official support anymore. On Linux however, almost all consumer printers work out of the box and all you have to do is to connect it. No special software, no hour long searches for some deprecated driver, just connect it and start printing. One thing that is increasingly becoming more and more important in the online world is privacy. If you are a Windows user then there is a very high chance that you have a Microsoft account that you were basically forced to set up. This Microsoft account is of course being used to track your interests, activities and even installed apps. On Linux you don't have any of that. You don't have to accept tons and tons of online agreements. You don't get asked to try out applications or sign up for a subscription and you don't get those third party apps automatically added to your home menu. Just create a username, a password and that's it. But not only the privacy is better, but also the security. Due to the sheer amount of Linux distributions and the amount of people constantly taking a look at the source code, Linux operating systems are currently more challenging to create viruses for. But that being said, the number one reason for being hacked anyway is most likely a user error. Linux is about choice and customization and if you want to, then you can easily tailor your own perfect experience. I've personally grown accustomed to the from Windows very different GNOME workflow, which heavily utilizes workspaces to manage open windows. 
In fact, I like this workflow so much that I've replicated certain aspects in other desktop environments and don't really enjoy working on Windows anymore. If you give in and learn a new workflow that is not dictated by Microsoft, then you'll be surprised on how much more efficient Linux actually is. On top of that, and especially useful if you have a PC that is shared with your family or friends, Linux allows you to install several different desktop environments and each user account can choose which one they prefer. One PC can essentially behave very different while still being just one machine. Another thing that Linux does better than Windows is the way on how you install software. On Windows, you typically open up a web browser, search for a program and hopefully get an official link to download an .exe file. Then you launch an installer and make your way through. On Linux, it's done a bit differently. You open up the software center that comes with your desktop environment, search for an application and install it. The only thing that you might need to google is how to enable other package repositories like Flathub on some distros, but you only need to do that once instead of every single time. Using a software store and repositories is faster, easier and most importantly more secure, since you don't need to be afraid of malicious lookalike sites. Nowadays, even Windows tries to push users into their Microsoft Store. However, their motives are probably a bit more financially oriented. And there, those were just some things that Linux does better than Windows. If you've liked this video, then please make sure to show it with a like. And if you haven't subscribed already and are still here, then you should also do that. If I've awakened your interest in Linux, then you should definitely watch this video next. And all that's left to say now is good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you are, I'll see you around.